Hi, this is TK Viper Tech, and today I'm going to talk about the changes and issues that came with iOS 5, especially for those using the iPad. The first thing is that Apple has decided to use four finger swipes to go between apps. So you can switch very quickly, which is very convenient and cool, except that it does conflict with some music apps, such as this Chinese Guqing Zither that I developed. So users have been complaining about not being able to access the setup page and that's because before iOS 5 I designed it so that you can bring up the setup page with four finger down swipes and as you can see and imagined it doesn't work anymore because Apple is reserving that four finger swipe for their own purposes. So there are two things you can do to fix this problem. The first is to upgrade this Chinese Guqing app to the latest version, version 1.2, where only three finger down swipe is needed to bring up the setup page. You can see it there. So, three fingers, it comes up. Now I can still use my four finger swipes to go through my apps. Okay, that's one way. But if you don't want to update this app yet, which I find no reason to uh, not upgrade, uh, there's one more thing you can do. And I do recommend doing this because for music apps, when you're using a lot of fingers, you're going to accidentally go to another app. So turn off Apple's four finger gestures by going into the setup page. Tap here, right here, under general, scroll down until you see. Uh, the section that says multitasking gestures so I recommend you turning that off before you use your uh, music apps so you don't accidentally switch apps when you're playing your song okay so now notice uh, my four finger swipes will not do anything now we can go back to my app as you can see four finger swipes do nothing Okay, again with this uh, version 1.2 three fingers to bring up the setup page and previous versions used four fingers okay now it brings us to the second issue that is affecting a lot of music apps like this one no sound there's no sound but check out uh, the volume button it is set to maximum and this uh, size switch here is not locked it's off okay but still no sound but notice when I turn this lock on you'll see it says the rotation is locked not the volume and that is because when you update to iOS 5 by default they set this to be the rotation lock instead of a volume lock so what that does is that uh, it causes this to be the hardware rotation lock and the software lock is now the volume lock so to access the software lock you have to double tap the home button you can see a taskbar here showing all the apps you have running in the background and scroll all the way to the left and here is the volume lock it's a software volume lock as you can see it's locked by default tap it again to turn it off okay so now it says mute is on mute is off and now you will get your sound back So again, uh, <clears throat> that is a major issue. Let's go into setup again. And here we can see a section that says use size switch for or to lock rotation or mute the device. If you set this to be the hardware lock, then the software lock is for locking the volume. If you set this to be the hardware lock then the software lock becomes the rotation lock 
okay so either way it's going to cause some confusion it's going to cause some problems with the apps if you don't know how to use iPad that well so hopefully this video has helped you understand how to turn these things on and off switch them either way and uh, hopefully you can get the sound back on uh, most of your apps your music apps and enjoy them again uh, I've seen many people complain about it not just for my apps but uh, for a lot of music apps users have been complaining and that's not their fault the developers fault that's mo mostly because the users don't know uh, what's happening with iOS 5 so it's uh, partly the users fault and Apple's fault for not telling you that things have been changed with iOS 5 okay so I hope uh, you enjoy using your iPad and that uh, this video has helped you to uh, learn how to control your iPad a little bit more. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.